I've been an artist for almost a year now and I can't lie, I really have improved a lot. But I still have problem in getting resemblance of my reference photos too. After a lot of frustration, I decided to swallow my pride and go back to the basics, learning head anatomy. So in this video, I will show you guys how to master the face structure and draw portrait like a tool, I guess. You can see that I skipped some steps, but that's because I had to delete the first clip I made. The camera wasn't really placed well and it was really frustrating. Anyways, I draw with Lewis method and I've been really enjoying it so far. The problem I had starting out was that I was trying to make things perfect that I even draw circles with compass. Yeah, <laughs> really tiring and action has always been a really interesting medium for me to express my art. I would say I got inspired mostly by Thomas Lito and there are other artists as well but I think it stands out. Having the professional artists to look up to have really shaped my joy and well, it's always satisfying at the end of the day you stare at your sketchbook and you're like wow, I did this. Whenever you are starting a drawing, always make it light. As for me, I go for 0.7 mechanical pencil and I think that's like to be led but it's light and easy to clean if you feel like even though sometimes i leave it messy it's kind of make the portrait looks more interesting but for this i'm using a 0.5 mechanical pencil and i just bought it i think it has hp lead and <laughs> it feels comfortable to use and i can adjust the thickness based on the way i hold it and i will strongly advise you against starting with a very dark pencil like TDP, 4B or the likes unless you are better than me or it's not a style of drawing. So I'm almost done with the anatomy and it looks okay. I don't know if it's just my eyes but the one at the center really looks like Ronaldo. Yeah. And I have to be honest though, I don't really know how drawing this improve my drawing but I think it's all in the most memory and how repeating something makes you understand how it all works or consciously. I really love the outcome and now I think it's time we put it to test on a real portrait. And before I start the portrait, let me let you in on a secret, yeah, my secret to drawing. The head can be divided into thirds, while the circle is two thirds, with the remaining one third be the distance between the base of the nose and the jaw. Don't worry if you sound a bit technical, you understand better when I'm drawing the portrait. Enjoy the review. So guys, it's time for the real portraits. I've got pretty good portraits inside this sketchbook but I think this is my best one, I mean the one I'm about to draw now. Maybe it's the anatomy working or I've just gotten a little bit better, <laughs> I don't really know. I think I really need to hold this down with a clip because it's kind of flipping and we don't want that, right? So clipping your sketchbook pages is actually cool but this one I've got is too hard. So it leaves a dent on the page, I have to support it with a paper. I think I said it somewhere and it looks really cool. When I'm drawing a front view portrait and I think it's the best kind of portrait I can draw so far. I always start from the nose. It's not mandatory but it helps me get the head proportion right.
so i'm done with the first part of the drawing and it looks really satisfying and a little bit like the reference which is actually the goal of this tutorial and now it's time for light shading which is just etching with a light pencil you can also get the same results with a dark pencil it all just depends on the way the pencil is being held after etching i smudge it all over a little bit it kind of brings out the sense of realism then I lay it over with a darker pencil, which in my case is the same pencil with different adjustments. Hatching my portrait is I think the most favorite part in my drawing and it brings out my style of drawing. I actually get inspired by a lot of people and I find this more interesting to smudging. If you find this video interesting or I've helped your ads anyways, please give me a like. I think it helps improve the publicity of the video and subscribe to my channel for more ad videos which I'm guessing you already have <laughs> because you enjoyed it, right? And if you need the pictures I drew in this video, I posted it on my Instagram page. And while you are there, don't forget to drop a follow for me. If there are some things you still don't understand, you can leave a comment on this video and any suggestion on the type of tutorial you'd like to see me do. Thanks for watching till the end guys, see you next time, but before that, enjoy the review.